lonely Jesus. It is sad to write about things which happen in this part, but they cannot be left out, for they show God's loving heart. Jesus was now in the hands of a priest who wanted to meet the angry crowd's demands, and that's what he planned to do. Meanwhile, Peter told his friend, Lord, I'll give my life for you. I'll be with you till the end. Will he really follow through? Jesus answered Peter's pride, Peter, it will not be so. Three times I will be denied before morning roosters crow. I won't leave you. I am strong. I can do it, Peter thought. But soon things turned very wrong, and he feared he would be caught. When the people saw his face, they said, You knew Jesus too. He denied. What a disgrace. Peter petered out. Would you? Then Peter heard the rooster crow, and he realized what he'd done. Bitter tears began to flow down his sad face one by one. At this time, Jesus was jailed by those who wished he would die. They accused him, but they failed to prove that he'd ever lied. An important priest was there. He said, tell me, or just nod. That is, Jesus, if you dare. Did you really come from God? Yes, I did, replied the Lord. The priest raised his hands up high. This claim cannot be ignored. He's a liar. He must die. Then they dragged him yet again to the governor's abode, because it was through his reign that the death could be bestowed. But the governor could see no wrongdoing in this case. He's not guilty. Let him be. He told them to leave his place. When they heard it, they got loud. You must punish him, they said. Crucify him, yelled the crowd. He's no god. He must be dead. Scorned, despised, and all alone, the Lord was sentenced to die. Although he came to his own, the teaching they did deny. Verse 